Another problem that I'm going to solve is about simple strain. Here's the problem. The steel truss supports a 6,000 pound load. The cross-sectional areas of the members are 0.4 inch square for AB and 0.8 inch square for BC. Compute the horizontal displacement of B using E equal to 29 times 10 raised to 6 PSI. Okay, so we can use statics to solve for the force in member AB and member BC. No? So pag makuha ni mo ang force, given ang length, given ang area, given ang E, then we can solve for the uh, deformation, elongation or shortening. Okay, so <clears throat> let's analyze joint B. Okay. So cut and then cut. Now for the inclined member, okay, for the inclined member, it resolved na to into components. So we have vertical component and horizontal component. Yeah. Need na to ang slope ano? So it's just nine over twelve. So nine, twelve, fifteen. Pag reduce na ni mo. It's three, four, five. Three, four, five. Now, okay. Let's solve this one uh, in a practical way. Now, to maintain equilibrium, this six thousand pound force must be uh, resisted by an upward force six thousand yapon para and total vertical force equal to zero. So. Okay, so 6,000. So if you sum up force vertical at zero, now, from this vertical force, pag compute sa horizontal component, okay, we use this one, by ratio and proportion. So 6,000 vertical, ni, it divides a vertical and the result is multiply sa horizontal since horizontal ang unknown. So 6,000 divided by 3, 2,000 times 4, 8,000. And for the magnitude of BA, it's tensile. Uh, okay, away sa joint man, tensile. And ang value ani is ratio and proportion Japan. 6,000 divided by 3, 2,000 times inclined 5, so 10,000. Okay, so money and force uh, BA, 10,000 uh, tension. Now, sa BC, para balance ang horizontal forces, namta 8,000, so this, this force will be resisted by BC. So, ang force of BC is 8,000 also directed to the lift. 8,000. So, from here, you can see that BC is in compression while BA is in tension. <clears throat> okay. So, after this, pwede na ka mag-solve sa deformation. Okay. For EB, it's elongation since... Uh, ten silence elongation of the okay. PL over AA. Um, the force is in pounds, and length is in feet. So we will convert the the length or the the unit to inches. So feet times twelve ga para mahimo sa inches. Area is given for BA. It's or AB. It's point four. And then E, 29 times 10 raised to 6. <clears throat> so we have the force, length, 15 times conversion factor. We have 9 over 58. And then for BC, <clears throat> shortening since compression. <clears throat> 
So, 8,000 pounds. Anya. Ang unit is, ang distance or ang length is 12 feet times conversion factor over area na 0.8 and then E. This one. Okay. So, the next step is, i-apply ni mo. Ang elongation sa AB from point B, ma-elongate siya dire. Okay, so this is delta AB. While sa BC, na-short. Tining so sa B to the right siya. Yeah? So, muna ang short tining sa BC. So, after this, uh, i-locate na ito ang final position sa B. So, ang final position is mag-draw ta og vertical or a perpendicular line sa BC as well as AB. And kung aha sila mag-intersect, mao to ang final position sa joint B. Okay. <clears throat> This line is perpendicular to BC and then draw also a line perpendicular sa delta AB. Okay, so this will be the last or final position of joint B. <clears throat> so, therefore, uh, the horizontal displacement of B is this one. Okay. Oh, if you describe me mo ang location sa final position, mo ni ang horizontal displacement. This one is also the vertical displacement. So, we have X, B, and this one is Y, B. But what is asked here is the horizontal displacement of B, X, B. So therefore, ang value sa X, B is simply equal to delta B, C. Kaya alam. <clears throat> okay. So this is the answer of this problem. So, diri makita ang kuan significance sa free body diagram para malocate ni mo ang final position sa joint after ni mo i-apply ang deformation ni. So, I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.